Good morning, everybody. Uh, it's the clock and the radio is on the right. It's actually going to be eight o'clock. Uh, I'm going to head over to the next town, and um, they're having citywide garage sales, so we're going to go uh, check them out. Well, I was over there yesterday. It seemed like there was a lot of garage sales for uh, a Friday after. I think it was like four four thirty. So. Uh, we're going to go over and check them out and see what all we can find. But first, go get a cup of coffee before we head out. All right, well, they didn't have any coffee, so we got us a pop to get us by. And uh, hopefully over in the next town, maybe we'll pick up a cup. Uh, but it's actually a nice, it's supposed to be a nice day, so... Uh, I have a feeling there's going to be a lot. Like I said, yesterday I went in. And yesterday was nice and it was a lot. Today is Saturday. Um, and I'm sure there's going to be a bunch out today. So, again, we'll just hit up, see how many we can hit up and uh, see what we can find. Probably going about another half mile and then we should be able to start seeing some garage sales. So, wish us luck. All right, so I just stopped at my first garage sale and they had a table full of a lot of stuff. Um, they said anything with these tags which didn't make sense because a lot of the stuff in there had tags like that but uh was freeze but basically they had two tables out there and i got all this stuff for free um just some little random things little chip bowl tray uh so we'll check them out here after, towards the end of the day and then see what anything's worth and then i got this there uh they wanted 20 for it and the guy gave it to me for five bucks uh, i just looked it up and there is no sold comps but there's a few of them listed for uh 65 to 79 bucks so we'll check in lady said it's brand new bought it for her sister her sister already had it it's been in the package since so it looked like it was in good condition though they had it out of the box all right so just stopped at another sale uh spent four dollars there uh found this it's brand new for a dollar it's like a mouse with little covers figure couldn't go bad with that and i've seen other people talking about uh tupperware which i have never really looked into but i found this look to be really it's not bad probably just needs a little washing for a dollar it's got the thing inside and then i found this uh bottle warmer uh they wanted two bucks for it i looked it up real quick while i was there and it looked like they're going for 20 to 25 bucks so not a bad deal on to another one all right, so I've been at a few other garage sales and really haven't found anything else. I just came, stopped at another one and found a few items. Uh, brand new in package. Got this for a dollar. Uh, I found this little Harley Davidson fanny pack. Not bad condition at all. Paid two dollars for that. I just spent thirteen at this garage sale. Uh, bought this. It says it uses batteries, but it's an old vintage light lamp. Looks really nice condition. And they bought this Care Bears record player. She said it worked. This was five bucks. Pretty neat. So I'll keep, uh, keep on going and see what else we find. All right, so just stopped at another garage sale. Uh, this one here, the guy usually, not this summer, but just because of everything going on, but last few summers, I usually hit some auctions and I find this guy there all the time. So a lot of, I would say 99% of the stuff he's selling is from auctions, which is fine. So he ended up giving me a good deal. I've been here before. Usually he has garage sales every once in a while. But, um, um, so I got three items here. Uh, this lightning, Johnny lightning race car, or just a car actually. Got that. So basically I got the three items and he charged me just seven bucks for everything. So uh, it's not bad condition, still sealed. And then I got this bag and you can see it, uh, it's brand new. I didn't, still taped shut. I just saw the sign, the tag says Coca-Cola. So I figured I'd just pick that up. And then I found this uh, Pocahontas doll still sealed and everything a little dusty but pretty good condition i looked that up there while i was there 
and they look like they're going for about 15 to 25 bucks or so so yeah not a bad deal seven bucks for them three items all right so i'm finally back home we're just gonna go through everything uh, i don't have a big enough table to set everything down so we're just gonna basically go uh through each garage sale that i went to and show you what we got and what it's worth what i paid for and what it's worth so at this particular garage sale i got four items i spent 13 dollars. got this uh kodak camera still sealed it is expired but i think it should sell just like the ink does but um yeah, I paid a dollar for that and it's going for about five to twelve dollars. I bought this uh she also had this leather Harley Davidson fanny bag, fanny pack. Uh it's pretty good condition, just probably a quick wipe down. Uh zippers work and everything. I paid two dollars for that and it's going for about twelve to twenty bucks. Then they had this uh vintage safari light. Um she thought it worked wasn't for sure it has a bulb in there uh paid five bucks for that that's selling for between 14 15 bucks uh, and then this here 1983 Care Bears record player uh she thought it worked as well um actually really nice condition just a little paleo sticker up here but other than that the logo sticker in the back is there nice there's a cord wrapped around on the bottom uh, but I paid five bucks for this. Uh, there is none sold, or I didn't see any sold comps on it, but there were a couple listed anywhere from 20 to 45 bucks for this. So I'll have to test it out to see if it works and then also test out this light um, and see how they work and kind of go from there. All right, so this is two garage sales. That's one, this is one. Um, so let's go with this one. So here I got a bottle bottle warmer uh i said it works i looked at it. it looks to be in pretty good condition uh paid two bucks for that that's going for about eight to twenty bucks uh and i grabbed this there it was a hello kitty uh optical mouse they wanted a dollar for it so i picked it up couldn't find any sold comps on it but i think five bucks or something like that uh, and then this tupperware it's like a deli uh, it's got the little strainer in it it's also in pretty good condition um, this is going for about 8 to 15 bucks and at the other garage so I got this the guy had five he gave it to me at four brand new said so he's never used it still in the bag so I couldn't find a sold comp on this exact model but there are others going between 8 to 15 bucks so see what I can get for it. All right, so at this garage sale, I bought three items. This is the one I talked to you about uh, where the guy just, nothing had prices and I, I picked up these items and he just told me he'd take seven for all. So I paid $7 for all of these. Uh, so this Coca-Cola, this is a Coca-Cola bag. It's brand new, still in the bag, never been opened. Um, they're going for about, I'd say six to 15 bucks. This Johnny Lightning car. Um, I did find the car, but not with the exact same card on the back. I guess they got different cards. Um, but they were going for about, I'd say 12 to 18 bucks. Um, it's still sealed. The card has a little warp to it. Not bad, but still pretty good. And then this is probably the good, the best find there. Uh, this Pocahontas doll. <clears throat> it says the sun colors, cocoa. Um, I think this is a 1995 year, year 1995, something like that, but uh, it's still sealed. Uh, there is a little, it's sunk in a little bit there. there the, the box does have some wear. It's tore up here a little bit, but overall, pretty good condition. Um, these are selling for 15 to 30 bucks. So yeah, not a bad score there either. Paid seven bucks for everything at this uh, garage sale. All right, for the last garage sale that I went to, I got these items there. Um, so basically, they had a table with 
with prices on them, but the guy came out and said everything that had these yellow stickers, which didn't make sense because everything at his garage so had yellow stickers, but maybe he just meant everything out on the table. But everything on the table with these yellow stickers was free. So the only thing I paid for was that. I picked this up for free, got these lights for free, uh, and I got these two things for free. I don't even know why I picked them up, but I thought maybe we could the wife could use this for some and yeah I don't know I just picked them up um, but the lights again they had them for three I got them for free I don't know if there's a vintage one I couldn't find a exact comp on this one but with the bigger bulbs like that it looks like they're selling I guess if they're vintage or not they're selling for five to twenty bucks for a 25 count um, this one I didn't see the exact one but um, I did see a different one sell for $8, but somebody had this exact one listed for $24. So I thought that was pretty cool. Um, and then the only other thing that I picked up there and I paid for was this. They had $20 on it. And I was just asking because they had that yellow tag on there. You know, I didn't think it was free, but I was just like, oh, you want 20 bucks for it? And the guy's like, oh, I'll take five for it. So I took it. And his wife said pretty much she bought it for her sister a long time ago or whenever and she already had this one so it's just been sitting there and it's basically brand new so i'll take this out and show you real quick all right so here it is this is uh, i believe it's droopy but yeah here it is uh it's got a little weight to it it's called a simply adorable 2005 but um, I didn't see any sold comps on this one, but I found two of them listed for six, between 60 and $75. So um, I think whatever I can sell it for really, it'd be all nice, good profit since I only paid five bucks for it, which was a good deal. So yeah, that's everything I got at the garage sales. I think I went to a total of like 10 garage sales and at five of them, I found some stuff. So it wasn't too bad. I would say it was about a couple hours worth um, it started to get a little humid, but uh, other than that, I had fun. Um, next weekend, there's supposed to be another citywide the town next to us, which is a little closer. Uh, so I'll probably be checking that out. Uh, other than that, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed seeing what I got. Uh, again, no footage of the actual garage sale, um, but uh, just showing you exactly what I picked up. So we spent $33 and looking at making around $200, $215, somewhere around there. So again, not a bad deal uh yeah just spending 33 bucks and again hopefully listing and that's just being uh safe there so uh hope you enjoyed watching my video thanks for watching